Today we're being joined here by Olivia Manfrey from the Essendon VFLW side. So, Olivia, welcome. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. No worries. So first off, how did you get into footy? How did it become a passion of yours to get into footy at a younger age? Yeah, so I started playing footy in 2016. I've kind of grown up with football. Um, I've come from a very passionate football family and my yep. younger brother um, and he started playing footy when he was young and I always watched him. I always watched the footy on TV um, and once a women's competition opened up, that's when I started playing. Um, so I went through a couple of local teams um, and then progressed through the talent pathways and, yeah, that's how I ended up playing footy. So what was it, what's it like at the call to Cannons and obviously playing the Essendon VFL side? So how did the – first off, sorry, how did the Essendon VFL opportunity come about? Did they contact you? How did, how did that happen? Yeah, so while I was still playing with the Cannons, I was approached by Essendon and they asked me to train with them um, back in 2021 during their preseason. So I trained with them uh, a couple times a week. And then the following year, um, I was signed as a development player. Again, while I was still with the Cannons as a 19 year old. Okay. So, your first goal at the Bombers last year in February, obviously, we talked about off cover how you're not, not one to kick many goals, but how was that feeling to kick your first goal and from the boundary? Pretty impressive. Yeah, that was a very special day. Um, I was very, very fortunate um, to get selected while I was still playing with the Cannons. And we had such an amazing group. Obviously, they went on to win the Premiership that year. And yeah, I remember everything about that day. And um, I had to kind of settle my nerves, obviously, being on the boundary. But mm. um, I was so lucky to get that goal. And it was a very special moment that I'll never forget. Would you say that's the best goal you've kicked in any form of competitions before? Yeah, probably the best one. Yeah. So what type of play would you describe yourself as for people that don't know too much about you? Defender, forward, midfielder? What, how would you best describe yourself? Yeah, so I spend most of my time up in the forward line um, and I like to play like a tall, so going for those big marks. Um, mm. I'm very crafty with my leading patterns and stuff like that, so um, that's kind of like my playing style and I'm quite comfortable with um, set shots on goal as well. If you were to use a, a player comparison, what player that that's in, say, an AFLW or AFL system that would you best describe yourself, to compare yourself to? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, I would like to try and become a little bit more like Katie Brennan. Um, definitely not yeah. there yet, but she was a mentor mm. of mine um, back when I was about 14 or uh, 15 years old and I trained with her for a couple of years. So um, okay. the way that she goes about it in the forward line, um, I'd like to try and mirror my game to her. Uh, any dreams to play AFL? I'm sure that's the goal in the end to Playing AFLW for whatever team it ends up being? Yeah, absolutely. AFLW is the end goal. I'd go to any team that's that's willing to have me. Um, but, yeah, mm. just trying to focus on my development um, at the moment and take it one step at a time. What team do you support in the AFL? Do you have any particular team you go for? Yes, I do go for the Bombers. Um, I've yeah. been a member since I was born pretty much. Um, but it was pure luck that um, I was mm. able to then play with the Bombers as well. But I think that just makes everything a little bit more special. Absolutely. How do you think the Bombers are going this season? Pretty happy how they're going? Yeah, not too bad. They're going pretty good. Um, it's pretty lucky that we have Peter Wright back in. Obviously, he, pa mm. he plays forward as well. Um, yeah. But, yes, let's just see how we go and hopefully we can hold on until the end. So the women's season, how are you girls going? You got about was it four rounds to go or close towards the end of the season? How are you guys are girls going in terms of potentially playing finals? You're in the top part of the ladder at the moment. Yeah, so we've got three rounds left, um, and then finals. Yeah. I think one message that's just been relayed from um, the coaching staff is to just take it one week at a time. So obviously we've got mm -hmm. Casey um tomorrow, which is gonna be mm -hmm. a really tough game, but um We've been prepping really well, so um, just to, we just need to try and continue with that, and hopefully um, we get enough or we do enough to get into finals. Yeah, there's just a few teammate type questions. Uh, who's your favourite teammate at either that the Calder Cannons or the Bombers VFLW side? That is a tricky question. Um, <laughs> I don't have a favourite teammate. We have such an amazing team. 
Um, I think one thing that the Bombers are known for and something that um, I had a great experience when I first started playing with the Bombers was just our culture. Um, we have such an amazing group. Mm-hmm. So I can't pick out one teammate. We have a really, really uh, lovely and kind team. So I'm going to take that there's no biggest pest at the club? No, I don't think so. No, we're, we're pretty good. Um, we're a very close-knit group. It's a very good answer, Liv. Uh, really appreciate you coming on and all the best with tomorrow and the rest of the season. The Bombers, hopefully you girls can get in the grand final and hold silverware at the end of it. Thanks for coming on. Thanks so much, Cooper. Nice, thank you.